importante alinear el norte del mapa con el norte magnético. The underground scene, scene and sea explorers we started some years ago. It was born in Sheffield around the local cafe where some of my now caving friends used to meet up and plan caving trips uh, without the pressures of uh, following like caving clubs. So without the politics of caving clubs, they got together and just was about go out having fun exploring on the ground, discovering new places, uh, new mines that might be out of bounds for obvious reasons because they're in private land or privately owned. So really it was about the excitement of yeah, finding new places that had been untouched for so many years and the thrill of exploration and, and really just was about getting together as a few of us and having a good time exploring together, you know, because an experience that you share with someone else is twice the enjoyment you get out of it, really. That's uh, the way I feel. Le pasó a un colega mío que fuimos a una cueva. Un bloque muy grande se le deslizó de de arriba de una, de una cuesta que era todo de piedras. El, el piso bajó la cuesta y, y Y claro, ya sabes cómo es, si hay muchas piedras, si tocas una piedra, las de arriba ya, se mueven. Todas. Se cayó un bloque, un macizazo así de arriba, y le dio en la rodilla. Instantáneamente le partió la rodilla. Entonces, gracias a Dios que llevaba la cinta americana, con el trípode que él tenía, pues le rompimos. Le atamos a la pierna, y, y de hecho, él fue el que se salió de la, de la situación, porque eso es lo importante, sacar a una persona Sin que esa persona se ayude es prácticamente imposible. ¿Te imaginas llevar a un, un peso muerto todo? Ya, yeah, es... Por minas, por, por arriba, para abajo, es, es casi imposible. Entonces, lo importante es ayudar a la persona que se salga en vida. Y él se salió. De hecho, había algunas zonas que había que utilizar un poco de cuerda, pero lo hizo. Uh. So, la, las opciones hubieran sido esperar al, al rescate, que podrían tardar muchas horas. Claro, en esas horas te empiezas a desmoralizar, te puede coger frío, hambre, tu estado mental declina, es, no es lo mejor. Kingston joined us about a year ago. Uh, we met him through social network Instagram. Obviously, on the ground explorers in NCI, I, I am the, the photographer, the main photographer for the group, the one that posts all the photos for on the ground explorers in NCI on Instagram. And uh, from there, it, it, it got quite a lot of attention, I suppose, because you, you expose places that not many people see that are quite hidden from uh, the normal eye. So that draws attention and people like Kingston, you know, show interest and message us, oh, hey guys, can go with me talk and do some of this, you know. And it was about obviously including people that have a genuine interest in this, not just, oh, well, that's a cool photo, that's it, but hey guys, I would like to do this, can, can I join you, you know. It goes to show the importance of social media in expanding basically the hobby, getting people, gathering people from the same interest in doing this and discovering more places because the more people you bring in, the more knowledge, the more experience that you bring in together as well. It's like yourself, you, you've been to some places, you told me about yeah. them that I didn't know about, you know, so it brings all that local knowledge about places you can go and explore that uh, are hidden or are unknown for most normal people because obviously because they're on the ground and on or restricted access so there's a lot of that as well the difficult access to to the mines uh, makes it hard for normal people to actually go in in them and explore them it's, it's a great feeling when you can see people appreciating the work that you do as well and that's why uh, I think social media is all, also important to get recognition but most important is for the people that you meet I think the, the people that you meet along the way thanks to social media that's that's the fundamental most important thing the friendships that you create through through, through the media Interesting.
matar esta vida, ¿vale? A ver si lo logramos. I, I would say I do prefer exploring on the ground. Uh, obviously we do we do explore like industrial sites, abandoned hospitals, but uh, we do focus. I personally also in my group focus mostly on the ground. Uh, I guess uh, because of because because there are places that so they can be so untouched by the hand of people. You know a lot of. A lot of hospitals, uh, industrial sites, they get trashed, they get wrecked so fast, whereas on the ground they're, they're quite untouched. I guess fundamentally also, I, I just like the darkness and bringing your own lights, you know, light, lighting yourself a place with your own lights. And, and basically the cave or, or the mine, the dark space, become, it becomes a blank canvas that you fill with uh, light. Uh, you light paint it to create your photography uh, with various torches, various color lights, like also with uh, wire wool, we're pretty much into wire wool photography as well. So it's, it's just fun, uh, underground is fun. It's more unknown to normal people. The, a, a lot of sites that are above ground, obviously, they're, they're fairly well known, visited. And underground, the access is it can be harder and you have to have a certain knowledge of what you're doing when you go on the ground, you know, your, your sa the safety aspects of what you're doing, what you're treading on, of being careful, you know, uh, what's over your head basically. Intensifies your, your, your senses, I would say also, being on the ground, is the, the, the darkness intensifies your vision, uh, the silence intensifies your hearing, uh, it is it's quite it can be quite an intense in a calming way experience I would say yeah. highlighting the dangers of uh, going underground Obviously, uh, sometimes you can underestimate how dangerous it is. Uh, so they are some of the places we go. Uh, for instance, for instance, I remember back some time we were exploring a mine, and uh, we went a long, long way in. It's, it was getting tighter and tighter. So you kind of the excitement takes over, and I, I kept going in and going in and it was getting tighter, so I had to drop further down and down. And at one point, I kind of realized I was running short of breath, but like I said, the excitement takes over. You don't stop and think, well, it might be time to turn around. I choose to carry on. I saw this small passage that seemed to go on, so I tried to squeeze through it, and one of the boulders on the ground just rolled back on my stomach and trapped me. I got trapped basically, I really panicked, I started, you know, panting, really breathing heavily, thinking I was gonna faint, literally. Uh, I thought a few more seconds or a minute of this and I'm dead, that's it. You know, um, I think at that time I regained my composure and thought, you know, I thought, you know, keep yourself calm, keeping calm is, I think, is the key. And I managed to free myself and get out. It's interesting, since then I've not been very good in Thai spaces, so uh, caving sometimes can be out of the question basically. I try to avoid caves that are tight, confined. I stick to mines mostly. They are bigger spaces, Challenge, challenging yes, but not, not in a constrictive, uh, claustrophobic way like caves are. Way, obviously uh, the widespread way now that social media is uh, spreading pictures of caves, mines, sites. Uh, of course it, it has changed the way, uh, I guess, the way people organize 
to do these hobbies. Like I say, you know, in the olden times before social media, there was caving clubs or clubs where people get together, meet up regularly and organize a trip. Now, <clears throat> social media really has uh, expanded the horizons incredibly. Now you can, can create your own exploring page like we did and from there people uh, that show really real interest start contacting you inquiring about some of the places that you you have they have seen on photos can you take me there can shall we shall we do this shall we get together and explore and that's made social media has made the big the biggest difference it's like I would say it's, it's a big leap in terms of organization and cap being able to organize yourself and a general group of people with the same interests uh, to get them together to do the same thing. So yeah, obviously it has changed the panorama for the better, mostly for the better, because it's so easy just to organize caving trips now. We, we, we set up trips on Facebook and those who we know and those who are interested can, can join us and follow us in the same kind of steps. I would say obviously the downside of media obviously uh, it's a catch-22, I would say, when you post photos, obviously, uh, you can get a backlash of people saying you shouldn't be posting these pictures, you know, of these places, they, they should be kept secret. Now, I've, obviously, I, I've learned some, from personal mistakes of naming pictures on social media. I, I try to stay away now from naming places on social media because of that, because of the backlash you can get from people, actually very rightly so sometimes telling you you should have named the, you shouldn't have named the place um, but yeah on the overall the the panorama of uh, of caving it, and, and exploring has expanded as I say just just media the media Facebook Instagram they have the YouTube to a certain extent I guess they have the biggest they have been the biggest uh, media influencing factors in uh, getting people interested in this hobby and bringing them together.